put an overhacking in, let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this this <laughs> is in my way. Okay. Do that. No, please. Are you serious? Oh, this is how we work on Jeeps apparently. It's <laughs> just like the bonnet off. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't watched any of our videos yet and you're new to this, please go check out this playlist above on our KJ build. So guys, thank you all for watching previous videos. I appreciate that. So in the previous video, we worked on this Lexus V8 motor that I have in front of me that we're going to put into our Jeep KJ. So in the previous video, we didn't finish all the stuff. So today I'm going to focus on getting this wiring done and then getting this engine started. So very excited for that. And I must be honest, there's still a huge lot of work to be done to this engine before we can get this started. It's quite a windy day outside, so sorry for all the wind noise. I'm trying to keep this indoors as you guys can see. Don't mind the mess on the Mini. It's all G parts that I don't have space for. So I'm just throwing it on there while I'm finishing it all off. So guys, this is going to be my hot seat for today. And uh, I'll be working on replacing these injectors with as shown previously, my new injector plugs. So, then also, will probably be, let's see another clock. I'll have to figure out all these wiring. Um, I think I have sorted some of them out already, just by looking at them. Like, I must say I found the starter wire, so that's a bonus. I think all of these wires are for your ignition. So we, we can actually have ignition and test it out. But there's still some wires that's confusing like this. Like really, what is this for? Why are they all just hanging here? And actually, they are all positive wires. That's weird. But anyways, we'll get to that later. I can probably unplug this just by the fuse box and throw it out. Okay, so while my soldering iron is heating up, I will be doing um, one plug at a time. Not too complicated, so I don't mess about. As you guys can see, it's just a straight replacement. But the wires are going to be a little bit longer, which is fine for me. I actually prefer that way. So the new plugs actually come pre-cut, which is nice. I've got some heat shrink over that. And now, basically this is what I'm going to do, and I'll do a time lapse on all of them. It's just cutting the wires, so I know, okay, this plug is up. So red and black is actually, the black on that side, and just the pure black is actually red. So that's confusing, but hey. This is why we've got this. So I'll be cutting it just a little bit from the plug itself. Reason being, I can always go back and just double check if I do forget. So guys, if you do wiring, I highly recommend you get a tool like this. This just makes your life a thousand times easier. So all you have to do is just that and it's spliced. How about that, huh? So easy. Alright, so that one didn't cut too well, but okay, there we go. Anyways, so now I'm just going to put some solder on the points, connect them up, and yeah, that's basically it. So let's do all eight of them quickly.
Okay, so all of these plugs have been uh, done by me. <laughs> I'm not very good at soldering, but hey, I'm here to do as most as I can. So both sides are done. This is what it looks like. I can just tuck away these wires once I'm done. I could probably put back my diagnostics port there. Okay, so next, what is next? Um, I guess I would like to plug in all these wires on the transmission. So this I'll just have to clean up a little bit. These two should plug in, I think, right here for this one. Am I correct? So where does this one go? Okay, wait. So this one goes in there. Let's just try and focus a bit on this. And this one right here. Probably the other way around. There we go. That side goes right there. This is for the O2 sensor. I've got two loose bolts here. This is probably a negative wire. Just have to test that. And on this side. On this side, I've just got this plug, but I quickly really want to just remove this duct tape. Why people do that, I've got no idea. Remove this duct tape and then to all the earth points. Yeah, I think we're getting there. So I need to run to the shops as well for spark plugs and the oil filter. So we'll do that. But first I want to wire up all the stuff and then yeah put oil in this. I got some fuel in the jerry can. I need fuel pipes as well. So there's three items. And then we can start this up. Well hopefully. So check this, this is the steering pump I've been talking about. So this will obviously sit on the front of the engine like, just try and get this right. Go and sit there somewhere. These are two bolts holding it on. And then there's another two that needs to go in there. So I'm very, very happy I got this. Then also obviously my alternator sits right here. And uh, yeah, we're getting there guys. So after this has been put on, I can probably just source the belt, belt size, and then we're done. So we got a little silver spot. And uh, heading for some coffee because it's a bit cold today. Lacquer, so we just got some Krispy Kreme coffee and donuts for the house. Happy wife, happy love. 100% full set for the boys. So let's go start that V8 up. Lacquer guys. Okay guys, so we're back from our little trip here and uh, got the man, Thomas Corbin here in the house, helping me out today. So we got all the spark plugs and some extra few things, oil filters, few, few lines, whatever. Um, so first off we'll start by 
maybe fixing this ECU, put it back together, and then some wiring left on this. So let's get cracking on that, and uh, then hope for a startup on this engine, I hope. Let's check it out. Okay, so we've been grafting on this motor now the whole freaking day and uh, we've only got small stuff left like inserting our spark plugs and oil, oil um, the oil filter so then we're going to start up we've got a battery on the side because it's charging I think it might be dead so I'll just pull one from the other Jeep ECU is wired up We've got some wires left over here, which I don't think is going to be necessary. So yeah, let's uh, let's hold on and hope this motor starts. Full send or no send, that's what we do. Exactly. <laughs> cool, catch you guys now. Giving us some clean lubrication. Gonna need it for some proper full sandies. No, yeah, hopefully it's not leaking out somewhere. Well, I guess we should have a look, <laughs> shouldn't we? So far, I don't have any dripping. I don't think. Let's go have a look properly. Dripping's never good, like ever, ever. Unless, unless you want it to leak, then then it's obviously ideal. But now, not a chance. So far, so good. I mean, I don't see anything. I think I'm going out of the sun plug. So far, so good. Okay, looks like we might need a battery from the big Jeep. Yeah, nine bolts isn't going to cut it. Okay, oil full. Now we're just making sure we have a battery strong enough to turn it over. We're going to turn it over for a bit, get some oil pressure. And take it from there. I think mean, just, just, just to, just to try to turn it over. So let's have a look and see. Can I connect it up? Uh, now we need to attach. We basically need to attach the, the hard attach the starter. It's not gonna work. Let's make a plan. Make a plan for this. 
100% toast lamp and we should be fine. Let's make sure the starter's on. It's a bit of a power for the starter. And then we should be okay, I think. Hopefully. Maybe. Just we have power. The starter has got power. Now we just need to tell it to go. Hey! Sparky! Go Sparks! So. So I just want to check. We need to see. Maybe should we extend that ignition wire? This is. That, that's our ignition wire there, isn't it? No, that's just power to the ECU. This is power to the fuel pump. This is no, power to the. That's. Power to the starter. That's motor. part of the starter. So let's actually have a look here and see. <laughs> First touch. <laughs> okay. A little bit nerve wracking, and let's see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Too, too, too much. Too much, or too, or too not enough, should we say. Not enough, actually, to turn it over. We're gonna go steal the Jeep's battery, because we need to steal it. What a mission, honestly. Like, all you're trying to do is start a V8, and now we have to steal a battery. The joys. Nothing can ever be easy. And today is daily driven Jeeps. We show you how to take a battery out of a JKU. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, what a joke. As you brought the ratchet. Let's go grab one quickly. Okay. Maybe. Ratchet. 10, 13. No ratchet. Okay, 10 or 13. No ratchet. Oh, ratchet for that. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let me get a ratchet. <laughs> cool. Negative? Negative to negative, positive to positive, and let's see if this thing turns uh, over. Maybe we should just add this. Add that just in case. Just in just case. Just in case. Just yeah, for a bit of a booster. It's not going to hurt it. There we go. Okay. Right, let's see what happens. And let's just double check these. Yeah, ones. let's just, just just see we're okay here. Okay, we are good. Okay, all good there, all safe. And three, two, one. <laughs> What a win already! <laughs> That's insane. Honestly, look at it. The man okay, who missed so the legend. <laughs> there was no power to no. the ignition system. Yeah, so no ECU no power. That's why we're just turning it over for now. Okay, so next up we will add on the ignition wires and full set. Add fuel. We add fuel. We have to add fuel. What about fuel? And uh, hopefully the fuel pump is fine. Oh, yeah, actually, we haven't even tested the yeah, fuel shit. pump. That's, uh, a, that's a first start. <laughs> what we could do is just add quick start. No, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I, I tried. I tried. Again, <laughs> again. All I need is to try. <laughs> Let's add fuel. Yep. I think that's the start. And basically, take it from there. We need to add a return one. Oh, yeah. We forgot about that. <laughs> hose pipes. We need to go cut up our hose pipe quickly. Let's go get that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, cut to where well, we have a return line.
That's guys. So we've got this V8 running and in the next video we will be putting it back into this Jeep. I want to say thank you to Thomas Corbin. Hey, my buddy, <laughs> helping me into as you guys can see it's late at night. And we ran this V8 at night, so literally sorry, holiday crafting. Sorry neighbors. <laughs> so yeah, a few things need to be done still this to this V8. Um but I'm I'm stoked. I'm so happy it's running and it's going so good. So you guys, um I've got I'm be filming this video, the second half of this on my new GoPro, so let me know. How uh, this quality looks like. I think this is quite a big, good investment I did on this. So thank you guys for watching. And yeah, we've, we're almost there. So, so press the subscribe button. Make sure you watch all these videos coming out. Subscribe, like, daily driven Jeeps, always. <laughs> and hit that notification button. Keep safe guys. Cheers.